Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. So today is actually December 31st and I'm filming my last video for the year. I'm supposed to be filming several updates actually, you know, that I have not posted last month, but there's no update because I didn't make any big progress. So I thought, okay, it's there's no point for me to post those videos, but I will post my last video empty and empties video. So for the year and then tomorrow we will see what will happen so if you are interested in project planning makeup skincare related content please consider subscribing my name is Tuna. welcome to my viewers so and i actually made the effort to count all my empties to see how much i have used up and so on so i will give you the numbers at the end um without the price because um, as I'm living here in Europe, the prices are different. Some articles or some products I bought on sale, some, uh, you know, uh, some I bought abroad. So it's like there's always a difference in pricing. So and I don't, to be honest with you, I don't remember the prices. So I was, uh, I would just show you in quantity wise how much I have or how many things I have used individual categories from makeup, skincare, and uh, body care, and we will continue. So. One of the first things that I have used up, this is a micellar water from Primark and um, it's 430 ml or 14.5 fluid ounces uh, with rose and vitamin E uh, infused. For all skin types, I didn't like it because it was not cleaning, uh, you know, really uh, my skin and um, it's cheap, two pounds, but nothing special. So I would not recommend this one then. Let me see what I have still in my bag. I have here from Balea the uh, shampoo for curly hair and it was okay. I mean, you get a lot for the small price. It was okay, but I have not noticed any difference in that sense or more. But, uh, you know, you can try it out for yourself if you want to. Balea is affordable or it's from uh, DM, the German drugstore mark. Uh, yeah, drugstore. So you can try it out. Then another thing that I have here is from Rituals, the uh, Ritual of Sakura, uh, the body cream. I love this stuff. So this was my last tub of this uh, Sakura uh, scented um, product. I would definitely buy it again because it is worth it. I mean, the cream itself or the body butter itself, it melts in your hands. It's not that liquid kind of formula. So you have enough time to rub it really on your uh, skin to really work it into your skin and the uh, the scent this uh, remains for several days so sorry because uh, some things are flying around and I have allergies so that's why I needed to rub my nose I would definitely recommend this one so what else do I have then I have here toothpaste yeah this is my second then I have corresponding to the shampoo I have also the conditioner it was similar scent it was okay nothing uh, not, um, uh, nothing to you know to talk about or to write home about um, then what else do I have here okay there are some things that I need to get rid of because they are old empties I have uh, used them already up then I have here uh, Deo roll on so this is goes into the glass container later on in recycling this one as well this is from the ordinary the 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil um, it's very nice to put it on your skin at night time you know so and it's uh, yeah I, I love the ordinary stuff too so I always recommend <laughs> what I, another face face uh, face oil that I love is this one or facial oil It's from uh, Lemis the superfood they have also um, the day cream and so on so this is really nice, even though it uh, smells really herb, you know, how do you say that? It has a really strong herbal smell or scent. Um, you know, some might say, oh, it's it's not that, you know, the, what they have expected in terms of, you know, having a perfume, really flowery, a floral scent or whatsoever. This one is more like it goes into the like uh, really herbal air direction with the scent. Um, so but I, I love this. If it was not that expensive, you know, I would buy it. I will look out for it, maybe with the upcoming sales and so on, and then see what I can get. Then I have here the Nias, Nia, Niacinamide 
uh, my second bottle from the ordinary finished it up um, you know some things as I said I think about this product you know some things you don't see the immediate result maybe if you lose them for a longer time you will see the immediate result so and this is something that I'm still how can I say uh, working on or looking for because um, I don't see immediate results but I'm not giving it up and saying oh yeah I'm not going to use it anymore or not buying it anymore so I think uh, for the uh, for the price it's it's not bad to buy it or you know to use it so what else do I have here then let's uh, I have from the inky list the 15% vitamin C and EGF you know the whole alphabet is <laughs> is covered with this name I should have actually you know last year or this year actually you know it's the last day but still I should have you know started uh, the A, A to Z pro de, uh, project and then use this one because I would have covered already, you know, one, two, three, four, four letters. I didn't. So maybe next time when I have, you know, the chance I might buy this one and then put it in the project and say, look, this is a pro product that I'm going to use for all, uh, you know, four letters anyway. So it was, you know, it was going strong until the end because, but I don't understand uh, the packaging itself because this is a very very liquid product it's not like a moisturizer for example from Olay that I had in the pro uh, uh, in one of my empties video it's not like a thick kind of consistency or so it's very liquid so um, it would have sufficed uh, you know to put it in this kind of drop dropper bottles or whatsoever and uh, you know or in another packaging because you don't need to have a pump you know there there no, there is nothing anymore. Blow it makes some sounds as if there is still something. And the thing is, you cannot even check if there is still something left because uh, the bottle or the, you cannot screw it open and look exactly. So this one goes in also into trash. Then let's see what I have here. I have a powder from Kat Von D, the travel size uh, setting powder. Done with it. Goes into the trash. I'm not keeping uh, the little, um, yeah, the little container. Then I have from Oribe the Gold Last Nourishing Hair Oil. It's just a sample, but that's done as well. Then I have here also samples. Um, to be honest with you, I am not sure from which concealer, from which brand it is, but I used those for just for setting my eyes or using it as a kind of eyeshadow primer. So those are gone. Then I have here. I cut this one open from uh, Urban Decay, the primer potion, and then the remaining, you know, bits, I put it into another container because I was like, I'm not going to always press it onto this little doe foot applicator and then try to do it because then I can just press it directly onto a, a brush and then uh, just make a brush and then, you uh, you know, prime my eyes with it. So, so that's why I just cut it open and then just depotted the remaining stuff. So that's one is gone. Then I have here mascara i said that in my team project pen i'm going to declutter this one because it says it has a shelf life of six months so after i, I had it like for five months in the project so um you know i didn't want to continue using it even though i like actually the wand i really like it uh, i might keep the wand i'm not sure how i will you know i might clean it i try to clean it and then see what will happen with it but um then i have my nail polish you know the so i'm going to also because this is glass uh, i assume i am going to you know put it into the glass container so then i promised you some numbers and uh, for that reason i will just you know put on my glass so it, you might have a little bit of a glare or because the ring light will be uh, showing in my glasses but let's see what i have you know finished um as i said my first video i posted in april so for uh, but they were you know some uh, empties from January until March so but uh, actively on YouTube I I started to do things on in April so uh, but if you think about it from April on until now I finished um, you know body lotions body creams I just counted as one category um, seven seven of you know the pots that I showed you for the Balea pots and so on so seven in total I finished that's that's a good number 
shower gel i finished only one but i have to say i have right now i'm working on a kind of two liter bottle big bottle and i always put it in a little soap dispenser which actually produces already with the pump mechanism it already makes foam out of the shower gel so i'm using that one so it's kind of how can i say um helps to save in that sense but of course i i'm not able to finish one bottle as quickly as i would you know just pour the uh, shower gel for example from the big bottle directly onto the loafer and so on so it's uh, you know in that sense i recommend to you if you need to save some money um just buy a bottle which has uh, you know a soap bottle um liquid soap bottle which produces with the pump mechanism uh, you know already foam so then you save some money with it because you can use it you know you can extend the time that you have to to use the shower gel for longer then shampoos i finished actually five shampoos the ones that i showed you are already in the calculation and uh, you know bottles plastic bottles or squeezy t uh, tops or and so on then fixing sprays and setting sprays i finished two um i also count some it was was it a sample it was a 30 ml one i had and one from skinnavia that i finished uh, so those are gone so makeup remover um i counted you know also the sample sized makeup removers so i finished three of them then primers i finished two in total lip balm you know in the stick uh, you know form i finished one uh, then in the skincare category now it's a little bit mixed up because i was just you know going through my old videos and seeing what i've uh, you know finished so that's why the order is a little bit uh, mixed uh, in the skincare category, I finished seven moisturizers, also some samples and so on. So, um, eyeshadow. Uh, this was uh, an eyeshadow in a little tub. It was more like a cream eyeshadow. I finished one. Argan oil. I finished one as well. So, but I'm using the bottle for another hair oil. Then conditioners. I finished three according to my counting, but I didn't. Uh, in, I think yeah, three conditioners facial wash one and then i have also uh cleansers in and uh, they are coming in the list uh deo roll on i had two deo roll ons here this one and one spray that i finished so then what else do i have the spray actually went for a long time if i'm not mistaken there because usually these ones the deo roll ons i finished them in one one and a half months so, but the spray went really for a long time. So, and I, I think used it daily. I, I'm using it daily, so you know it should go for a long time. Then, um, what else? The box dye. I am not currently not dyeing my hair because I'm just going to give them a rest because, uh, you know, I think, um, yeah, I, I try to you know use vitamins and so on so that they grow longer and so on. And I, I just want to have. A little bit of a break but i'm going to then you know reapplying it again maybe next year i will start again with black hair dye so but for now i finished two box dyes uh box dyes then whitening stripes i had them i think i finished five or six but i have not regularly counted them uh what else cream eyeshadow now these are the eyeshadow sticks i finished two of those and then eyeliner pencils i finished one uh, toner in a uh, you know the facial toners i finished two big ones i think i had one from lancome in it if i'm not mistaken so and polish not polish clinique you know so toning lotion i had that one so i finished two then i counted now for my sheet mask if i'm not mistaken i had 19 now i have i think 10 because i've i counted nine from my empties videos i counted nine i have not checked my real number so but you get the drift it's it, i use them at least home fragrance i had the little home fragrance stuff from zeman i didn't like it so two of those i finished then um from the ordinary i use always the lactic acid 10 percent so i finished two of those bottles and i had another acid i call it acid uh, that was one then i had from the ordinary the buffet i finished one of those then eye serum and eye cream together in one category i finished two then concealers as i said i finished four i also counted the samples now the in total four here the cleansers i finished facial cleansers four uh the nice uh, 
cinnamide. I finished two bottles in total now with these, uh, with the one that I showed you. Then I had facial oils, uh, these ones, and uh, you know I finished three of those. I mean here the and I had one EUK also from the ordinary, so three I finished. Face masks, meaning really the face masks that you really smear on your face and then just uh, you know have it on for some time and then just remove it. Two foundation two as well lip pencil and lipstick uh, you know the uh, lipstick in, in pencil form i finished two each then perfume samples if you see my perfume sample project you will see i finished actually a lot i counted now eight but i think i finished more than the, those then makeup wipes i remember they had two packages but i uh, just filmed one in one empties video so but i had two so those are gone blotting paper i finished one pack of blotting paper then I had one, in one project, uh, in the graveyard project pen, I had a, a cream blush in a tub. I had to, you know, declutter that one because it was already too old and it was separating. So I finished, I just rolled it out now. Mascara, I finished two, uh, including the one sample that I had from Lancôme, I think, or was it Lancôme? Or Le Petit Nogola from uh, Le Petit uh, uh, Robe Noir. Um, then micellar water one, uh, toothpaste two, and powder one. The little sample, you know, here is now loose powder, but I have still one, you know, mattifying powder which I'm working on. It is still going. So these are my numbers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. I see you in the new year. Happy new year to you. All the best, you know, of health and luck. And yeah, let's let's continue to. <laughs> to have fun with these videos or you know so i have a lot of fun so i enjoy them filming and i see you in the next one have a good day bye bye